Hi, uh, welcome back to part two of my video, how to draw against a strong international master. I am analyzing my game against international master Yang Kai, playing for Canada, and his rating is 24.65, and he is currently, uh, well, he is a grandmaster now. So, um, we were at this position, a knight endgame, equal pawns. I have five pawns in the center and king side, whereas my uh, opponent has four. Uh, and he's got a two to one majority on the queen side, and it's a knight endgame. Uh, this should um, normally be a draw, uh, however, I do um, play um, an in, uh, a bad move. And um, I give my opponent initiative, which I shouldn't have. Now, I would like you to ask you, after my opponent's f5 move, what would you play? So, yeah, you can play e5, you can take on f5 or f3. These are like the candidate moves. So you can pause the video. Um, I played f3, however, uh, the best move was actually e takes f5, giving my opponent uh, double pawns. If I can attack them, they're very weak. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't play this. I um, played f3 trying to um, keep my center because I've got some nice pawns on e4 and d4 but um, after he took he uh, messed up my center by the move f5 and then I end up taking anyway and we've both got isolated pawns here uh, and he got initiative here um, unfortunately for me so I started bringing my king to the center. He did the same. I checked him. I, I was trying to activate my knight. And I thought I would lose my d4 pawn anyway. So I would keep hold of my a3 pawn, perhaps attack the b5 and a pawn. I believe we were getting uh, short of time uh, he does have a, a technically winning position here actually but um, I was just um, fighting I was uh, trying to um, make things difficult for my opponent um, I mean if we do uh, go back to this position uh, up until now uh, everything had gone sort of smoothly for me but um, after my inaccurate um, F3, uh, things started to become imbalanced. And my opponent was doing everything to, to beat me. Uh, he played F4 because uh, it makes uh, G3 um, very bad because he plays f3 and the queens very quickly so it means i can't play g3 and if he can collect this g2 pawn with his king or knight he can promote his pawn into a, a queen very uh, um, uh, one move quicker i'm trying to activate my knight and even though you might find yourself in a bad position, you should still fight. You should still try to create uh, difficulties, problems for your opponent. And this is what I was trying to do. So now I'm trying to go for this um, A6 pawn. Um, it's a weakness. And... I played g3, he can't push because my knight's uh, controlling this square. 
I'm trying to exchange off the pawns. So if we do reach an end game when he's got a knight, pawn, king against my king and knight, I can just sacrifice my knight for his pawn. So it's important for the person, the player in the inferior position to try and swap off pawns or to take your opponent's pawns. And if you're in a winning position or good position, you should try and keep the pawns on the board. So uh, I, I've, I've exchanged them um, um, a pawn each. I play knight h3, potentially to come to f4 and attack this weak h5 pawn. Here he plays and uh, uh, well, he makes a mistake um, basically. Um, it doesn't look to be a difference, that much of a difference between king f5 and the correct king e4. But actually there's um, a big difference. Both um, king moves aim to attack this g3 pawn. However, with king f5 I just play knight f2. I'm stopping his king coming to these two squares with my knight. My pawn is stopping the king coming to f4. So I've got like a small fortress here. The king can will have to go around like that. So he could end up losing his h-pawn if he tried to do that. If he had played the correct king e4 then he's attacking this g3 pawn quite quickly and his king's coming into my position to my territory and he will he will, he will win this game basically but when he played the inaccurate king f5 it was a theoretically drawn position He's trying to activate his knight and I go for his weakness on a6, he comes back, I take, he takes my a, a, a pawn, I come back and when he plays this I check and then I'd, I'd seen that this position was actually a draw because I was going to sacrifice my knight for this pawn and then attack this knight. And when the knight moves, I take the B pawn and he doesn't have any pawns there. He's left with a king and knight and I'm left with a king, which is insufficient material to win. I was happy to give my knight, not a problem because of this move. He needs this pawn to win the game. So if his knight was, say, here on c7 or a7, this would be a winning game for black. Because if I try and attack the knight, his pawn um, then goes and uh, promotes to a queen or maybe a rook. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I will be back with more.